Hello, UGC Net aspirants. NTA has released a public notice regarding UGC Net June 2024 session. The application window for this particular session is open. But there is a very, very shocking news which has been given in the public notice. Till now, UGC Net exam was conducted in CBT mode. That is, as a computer-based exam, it was conducted. But from this session, it is going to happen in OMR mode. That is, using pen and paper. And the exam is going to happen on a single date. Just That is, on June 16th, the exam is going to happen for all the 83 subjects. Earlier, they had told the exam is going to happen from June 10 to June 21. But now, it is going to be happening on a single date on June 16th. When it comes to OMR based exams, there are lots of changes in the preparation strategy, in the time management strategy, etc. For example, if you take an OMR based exam, typically 10 to 15 minutes will be required just for shading the OMR sheet properly. And once if a particular answer is marked, it cannot be changed. Like this, there are a lot of changes when it comes to OMR based exams. So when it comes to OMR based exams, the practice that you take using OMR sheet will be the main thing which will decide your results and also the time management that you will have to do in the exam. For your practice, we will be releasing sample OMR sheet based on UGC net exam pattern in our Telegram channel. The link to our Telegram channel, Professor's Academy's Telegram channel can be found in the description box. And since a lot of state level exams are still happening using this OMR mode only, we have accumulated a lot of knowledge from the years that have the exams have happened. And we'll be more than happy in sharing all the uh, in sharing all the tactics and techniques that are used in OMR based exams to qualify in a single attempt. And for more videos like this, please do subscribe to our channel so that you can see those videos on a timely way. Now, coming to the million dollar question, why OMR format? Why do we have to change from CBT to OMR format? Mainly, there are two reasons. One reason is that from this June 2024 session, this exam, that is UGC net exam, is going to be used for PhD admissions as well. So, instead of PhD, PhD entrances which are conducted by uh, universities or colleges separately, now UGC net scores can be used. That is one reason. Second reason is that Honor students, that is students who are doing their four-year bachelor's program are also eligible for this exam. Who are in their last year of their uh, bachelor's program honors, they can apply for this exam. Which means the number of students who are going to appear for this particular session from now on actually is going to be really high. To handle such a huge volume of crowd, only OMR-based exam can be done. Only that is possible. And this time, since PhD entrance is coming into play, there will be three different options in the application form. That is award for junior research fellowship plus assistant professor. Second option is appointment as assistant professor plus PhD. Third option is for admission into PhD only. So you have to choose which option is necessary for you and you have to apply because the cutoff that you have to get will also change depending upon the category that you are applying to. And the very, very important thing is that since the exam is going to happen on a single date for all the 83 subjects, you can apply for only one subject at a time. You could be eligible in multiple subjects. Maybe you're eligible to apply in commerce and management, maybe English and education. But you have to choose wisely and you have to apply in one particular subject only. This is given in the instructions as well. That is one application only can be submitted by a candidate like that. Okay, so choose the option that you are going to apply wisely, choose the subject that you are going to apply also wisely and do your preparation accordingly. After all, don't get, don't get scared. According to the changes that NTA is giving, we will change our preparation strategy and the time management strategy as well. And related to that, we will be releasing a lot of videos in the times to come. So please do subscribe to our channel. Don't get scared. Continue your preparation. This session will be the session in which you will get your GRF. Believe that and continue your preparation. All the very best.